Coco, Coco, girl. Hi, I'm Robert, and this is Coco. All trail riders and horse campers should carry a knife, whether you're around this much rope or not. A knife is one of the 10 essentials. Here's mine. But few people remember to mention that your knife should be sharp. So let's head inside where it's a little bit warmer and talk about how to sharpen your knives. What do you think, Coco? Are you done? You want to go inside where it's warm? You can't. Only me. So knives come from the factory with an edge like this, a V with a sharp point. Most of my knives look like this, a U. It's a hazard. Over the years, I've tried traditional whetstones, other types of grinding stone things, knife sharpeners, and I've got to admit that I don't have the knack for it. They haven't worked for me, and the only results that I've gotten is that my knives have become less sharp, more dull, duller. It hasn't worked. And I also have to admit this is that a lot of times I've wound up just buying a new knife because I couldn't get my old one sharp. It's sad, and it's expensive. So I got an email the other day asking if I had heard of the Ken Onion knife sharpening system. Not being a knife guy, I had no clue. So I Googled, and then I Googled again, and then I Googled some more, and then I took the plunge. I ordered the Ken Onion knife sharpening system from WorkSharp. Let's see how it works. So let's see what's in the box. We've got the sharpener. Wiggle her out here. Work Sharp by Ken Onion. So it's kind of a hefty little gadget here. We have the instruction manual. And we have so a little quick start guide. Again, the, the user guide. How we should operate things. And then a variety of sanding belts. Let's get rid of this box and see what she does. Things. So here's the tool. And we have a little lever here on the side that allows us to loosen and change our belts. This is the guide, and it just kind of slides in, and you rest your knife on here. We'll take that off for the moment. So using the handy dandy sharpening guide. I didn't think it was a really good idea to work on my most favorite knife first. So first I'm gonna to try to sharpen this old pocket knife that I found. We'll see how sharp the knife is first. So we have a before and... This is how sharp the knife is. When I'm finally caught, yeah, it's it's not sharp. So let's make it, let's turn this into ridiculous sharp. So we'll take our little edge thing and let's start her up. Woo. Oh, and we want this to be on medium speed. Here we have a speed minder. Right there. Okay. One and two strokes with this. And according to the instruction manual, place, place the blade in the guide, power on and pull the knife. So we'll call this a three inch blade, so it'll take about three seconds to pull this, one inch per.
then this side. X65, okay. Release the belt. Put the new belt on. And same thing. Now the X22, so you can tell it's, it's taking some, some material off. Switch the guide again. Now X22, X4, X22 medium. Okay, and now the X4. X4, fine. It's a fine day to grind metal. Okay, let's see how she did. Oh my. I would venture to say, I'll probably get her a lot sharper once I figure out what I'm doing. But that's a world of difference from what she was. Yep. Sink Nick's top picks. So I'm glad I used an older knife to practice on, but she is much, much sharper. And there you go. The Ken Onion knife sharpener from Work Sharp. So far, it's done a pretty good job for me. I'm looking forward to sharpening a lot more knives. For more practical information about trail riding and camping with horses, please give us a visit at trailmeister.com. It's also the largest guide to horse trails and camps in the world. And as always, please click on that like, share, and subscribe button. My knives would appreciate it. Until next time, happy trails.